where it's beyond human abilities. Now we're getting over into the blessing. Now it's time for the church to distinguish itself. Say, so, hey, wait a minute. We got something that can take care of that too. The blessing was given to you for a specific reason. Join Kenneth Copeland and Bill Winston today on the Believer's Voice of Victory. Learn how to tap into God's abilities and resources and meet the needs of others. The blessing will position you to be a blessing. Previously on the Believer's Voice of Victory. And I'm saying that what has happened now is that things are getting to the point that they'd be getting beyond man's natural wisdom. They can't handle it. They can't handle it particularly with a system that has no power in itself. itself. That's right, yeah. So, mm -hmm. and, and they're, they're mirror imaged. Over here in the kingdom of God, there is, um, there is salvation, there is healing, deliverance, prosperity. In other words, Jesus bore the curse, being made a curse for us, over here in the, the world system, they have a way of salvation. It's religion. Yep. They have a yep. way of healing. They have a way of prospering. They're, they do, a, but every one of theirs comes short. Every one of them fails. And they have side effects. And they, and they admit it. Yes, they do. Well, you know, this is uncurable. Well, you know, uh, nobody can pay that size of a bill. Well, you know, uh, nobody knows whether you're going to heaven or hell. Well, you know, but over here, you've got a, the power of God that oh, giveth the goodness. increase, does the healing, and, and all that. This one over here has proven to work. This one has proven itself to fail for 6,000 years. So why do people want to suck up to this one? And they stay in that and give their trust in that. And even when they come up with some form of healing, it's got side effects to it. Every time. We got a card or, or a, mm -hmm. uh, an email this morning from uh, Billy Brim that one of our very close friends, all of us uh, know her well. And uh, she went in for just, it was just some kind of little minor surgery. They made a mistake it, that caused two, she liked to die, and, and it caused three more surgeries, and, and, and she's, uh, she is uh, in a position right now where now she got to cry out for the healing power of God because this other system fouled up, and the side effects was she liked to die. In this, the smartness of Egypt could not deliver them from the famine. We're just getting to the place where that curse now is coming in to a degree that the blessing is not an option. It's getting to be a requirement. And I just feel that now we're moving into that place where it's a prophetic time for the church. Oh, Bill, I think we're there. I, I think we're in there to the point. It's come up to the place where natural man has hit the cap. Yeah, that's right. He, he can't get any higher. Yep. He's on top of the mm. power of the Tower mm. of Babel. Mm. That thing is doing this yeah. Yeah. because it's got a sandy foundation. Oh, it can't get any higher. Oh, my goodness. It can't support itself. Mm. So as it starts falling, they keep throwing sand under it. And it just keeps toppling. And this one over here just keeps getting bigger. So it's time to jump off that one and get over here. And we can do that. We can do that. This, this is what I'm saying. We, you don't have to earn your way into, into this, this one. one. You just say, hey, <laughs> if the Apostle Paul prayed the shortest <laughs> prayer on record, Lord! <laughs> and, and, and there it was. That's all he had to do. Praise God. That's all you got to do, too. Just, Lord! <laughs> but, but Amen. People are looking to a natural government to save them, and it can't. And they're still trying to get mad at it because it won't give them what they want 
or still trying to go for it because they think it will give them what they want. And if they overthrow it, what are they going to get? The, what Another they get. one just like Just it. like it. But it's the kingdom now, the government of the kingdom. And this blessing is the key element of this kingdom. And I'm saying now, Brother Copel, we're coming into a place. Like I said, I was, I was in uh, Africa and I was riding with the bishop and he was feeling sorry for some part of Africa because apparently they uh, were taking the young girls, uh, the, the beautiful girls, he said. And, and he said because of the ethnic wars and so forth, they were cutting off their hands. And, and, and he said, you know, I cry every time I think about it, so forth. And, and true enough, that's a travesty. But then when I went home that night and began to pray, God said, wait a minute, wait a minute now, hold, hold on. See, I'm, I'm forgetting the blessing. Yeah. He said, wait, 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 hold on now. You won't get your gun and it's, go do business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the way it hits you. Um, and so then <laughs> he took me over here in Matthew chapter 15, where the main came to Jesus and he healed them. They did, and he did, didn't he? He did, and the Bible says, My he said, the goodness. things that I did shall you do also. And greater. And greater. So look at where it's beyond human abilities, now we're getting over into the blessing. Now it's time for the church to distinguish itself. Say, hey, wait a minute. We got something that can take care of that too. Bring her to me. That's what Jesus said. Yeah. Bring her to me. So I'm just saying this whole blessing idea is a whole new level of thinking because it, it, takes, the, it takes the sorrow out of your life. It, it, oh, in, in, in terms of trying to make ends meet, so to speak. It takes the toil. You don't have to get three jobs for this. Get the blessing. And the blessing will make sure that you can go home to your family at night. The blessing has a plan. Mm. See, God, the blessing was his plan to start with. So everything he's ever done, everything he's ever said is to get his perfect will, which is the, the blessing of man so that man could live on God's that's level. level. That's mm -hmm. where he intended for him to live all the time. So he has a plan for doing that. He had that plan in the old covenant. That's what the 10 commandments were that's all about. Mm -hmm. In other words, have no other gods before me. They're quiet. They can't bless you. That's right. Don't go to them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't steal. My what do you want to steal goodness. for when you can come to me mm. and I'll provide whatever you need? I'm, I'll bless you. Don't bow down to images of birds and dogs and cattle. Don't bow down to something I've already given you dominion and authority over. Why would you covet another man's wife and his goods? Hey, man, I'll give you one better looking than her, smarter than her. I have one planned out for you. So he say, and if you go, if you read in the um, book of Exodus where the Ten Commandments yeah. are there, you come on right down just right after that, and he said, and I will bless you. Mm. So that's what that was all about. It wasn't, don't you do this, I'll kill you. Mm. No, 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 no. This is what he was saying. If, if you'll do these things, I can protect you from the curse that's in the earth. See, that's come the in love. Here and, that's, come in here that's the eat. love part of this thing. That's it? love manifesting himself. Now, love went ahead then through that covenant and manifested himself in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God manifested in the flesh, the flesh that came in here, sent him to bless you. Mm. He blessed mm. by doing exactly what God said and saying exactly what, what God right. said. Mm. Why? Because God's got a blessing plan. And if you'll say what he says say and do what he says do, the blessing can flow and function and operate. You don't have to understand it. You'll get understanding of it as while it's going. going. That, now that is key, Brother Cole. People need to hear that because they think they have to understand all of this before they it's can use this. It's better that you don't in the beginning. That's, that's right. That's Bill, right. what would have happened mm -hmm. if uh, the Lord had said to me back there, 40, uh, we've been in this ministry 45 years. Mm -hmm. What if he'd have said to me back there in uh, about the second year or so, now, Kenneth, here's what I got in mind. Here's what I'm doing. I want you to use your faith on that. Uh, we're you, we're going to build a ministry here that will be self-sustaining, uh, and it, it it'll not 
it'll, it'll not, if, even if somebody, if you just cut off all, all of the, all of the giving, all the partners, all, everything, just cut it all off, the ministry just come on. Where would I have gone to do that? I'd have gone to stock market. I'd have gone, the, uh, I don't, I don't know any better. To try to think I of didn't understand way. that. Mm -hmm. And God said, I found the scripture, oh, no man, anything but to love him. I had already committed to whatever I find in the Word I'm going to do. do. I didn't understand that. I, I, I kind of deflated, and I said, Gloria, what are we going to do? And she said, if that's what the book says, then that's what we're going to do. Now, listen to this. I couldn't see how we're going to do that. You know what? Now I see how we do it, but I committed to it when I couldn't see how. Why? What did Jesus say to Thomas? Thomas, quit being faithless. Blessed. We got to cover that. Blessed are those oh, good. Who, who have not, not seen and, and yet, yet believe. believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I didn't see nothing. Right, right, right. But I believed it because yes. Jesus said, said it, it, and so I just believed it. Now, now, watch this now. This is the first time this has happened to us. We bought our first house in Minnesota. This is when we were still, uh, we were still working in, in, in corporation in computers. And uh, we went out and looked at all these houses. Now, we looked at the houses when we probably had $1,000 in savings, if we had that. I, I tell people that's the time to look. And so what happened? We went out with the realtor, took us around for three days looking at houses. After we came back, that, that third day, we came back that night. My wife was sitting there. We were sitting there. I said, baby, the Spirit of God told me to ask you, which house would you like? She said, you mean which one can't we afford? No. I said, see there, that's the earn PC. I said, no, 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 no. He told me to ask you, which one do you like? She said, well, I like that big white one up on the hill with that circular driveway. Spirit of God said, tell her to get down and let's pray. I said, come on. Spirit of God said, get down and let's pray. We started praying. Got down there, start praying. The Spirit of God said, get your wife, get up, go over there, point at that house and claim it. I said, yes, sir. Okay. Got up, got my wife that time of night, went over there in that nice neighborhood and <laughs> we pointed at that house and spoke to it. Now, I'm speaking to a house, just like Jesus spoke to a fig tree, just like he spoke to a storm, just like he spoke to a dead man. I'm releasing some light. I'm claiming that house, now it was for sale, to come into our hands in Jesus' name. The next week, my boss called me. This is how things started to happen. Hey, Bill. I said, yeah, John, we have a, a contest for managers. I said, okay. He said, to, uh, the, you get $10,000 or something like that. I said, is that right? He said, yeah. He said, I got good news for you. You won. I said, I did. <laughs> Con you didn't even know you won Listen, when you won. <laughs> you don't have to know how this thing works, but it works. Now, you look back on that now, and you're going to have understanding. Yes, I do. It. Yes, but back there, then you didn't. You just did what he said do. do. And he said, if you do what I say do, all these blessings shall come on you and, and over overtake you. you. I came home from a meeting one time. We'd, we'd been on the road for several weeks and came home. And, and we, we, were, we were doing well. Uh, we did well from year one at when we got on God's plan and and... If word won't get it, I won't have it. And I learned how to speak and so forth. I'm just following God. Now, see, he hadn't told me what he was developing. He knew better to tell me that because I didn't want to know how to do it anyway. It was 30 years before I found that out. When I found it out, we were totally separate from the whole world system. But that first step was no debt. Now, I came home. Bill, there was a yellow... Mercedes 500 convertible <clears throat> sitting in my driveway. I said, uh, wonder whose pretty little car that is. And Gloria said, I don't know. I ain't never seen it before. You know anybody got a car? No, nah, I don't know anybody got a car like that. So we got in. I, I called. Um, there wasn't nobody there. So 
I called and uh, I said, um, you know anything about this uh, yellow convertible sitting in my driveway? And uh, uh, Doug said, yeah. He said, one of your partners brought that to you. That's your car. I said, that, that yellow Mercedes and mine? Yeah. He said, one of your partners brought it to you. Well, I think you ought to sell that car and put the money in the TV. That isn't what my partner wanted me to do with it. Gotcha. Now, do you think if, he, if somebody brought money in there and said, I want you to put this uh, uh, on this over here and me do something else with it, that'd be wrong, that'd Bill. Be wrong. I committed and, to God. I'd God never do that. that. Now mm -hmm. I'm stuck with my commitment because mm -hmm. I, I kind of felt a little... Uh, you know, I'm the preacher riding around in a yellow <laughs> Mercedes. That don't bother me anymore. <laughs> but, but I had to learn yes, these did. things. And as I went, see, the blessing was working on a level higher than, than what I knew at that time. It still is, but it's higher than that now that I know. But it's still working higher than I know. I said, Lord, I didn't ask you for no Mercedes. I didn't, I didn't lay... Hold up, Carl. I go, what happened? He said, do you remember in my word in Deuteronomy 28, 1, said, if you'll obey me, uh, all these blessings have come over you and overtake you? I said, yes, sir. He said, Kenna, I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate the, the, the things that you do by faith and the, and the preaching of the word. And you just got overtook. See. I said, Really? <laughs> oh, is that right? But isn't that the blessing of a Lord? It maketh rich. It maketh rich. Not I make it. It maketh rich. But see, you, you use that example. You said, if God had told me all that he was going to do in these 40 years, I would have gone out, tried to go to the stock market to get some money, tried to use some kind of way. I need that me a businessman that will build some businesses some, here. In something. It. Blah, blah, blah. Something. But this thing is coming out of a level higher than our natural mind. Oh, absolutely. And until this mind gets renewed to it, it don't know what it's doing. Uh -huh. it, it's coming, faith is coming right out of here to activate that blessing. It's and used it to happen. having to figure out how to get all That's this correct. done. But it has to be slapped back. No, you're not the boss no more. Oh, you, you don't figure out nothing. It really you, does. You just make your decision that, that the word is right and we're going to follow it. Yes. Then the blessing is in here mm -hmm. so that it comes from the inside out. It builds a wall. Got it. Uh, uh, and it, as it spreads and goes, that was that hedge around Job that made Satan so mad at him. Right. We'll talk about that. It, okay. It's the, the wall between yep. the land of Goshen and, yeah. Yeah, and we, Egypt. We, it's okay. the wall okay. between mm -hmm. the blessing and the curse. There's mm -hmm. a wall line there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it'll, it'll come up and build that. And then it begins to reach out and bless other people. Remember the 112th Psalm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where yes, sir. Uh, the man that Blessed delights greatly in, in, in the commandments, commandments of the Lord, mm -hmm. he's saying, man, I tell you, when God commands me, I love it because when I do it, he manifests himself <laughs> in me and he's delighting greatly. Here's a man that had great wealth and riches in his house and his righteousness endured forever. Here's a man that had a house. It's full of wealth and riches, and his righteousness is intact. Mm. 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 See, it was, it was the blessing that yeah. was overtaking him yeah. in everything yeah. that he yeah. did. Yeah. And it said there was a whole mm. generation blessed because of him. So people were being blessed. The upright shall be blessed. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. this, his whole generation yes. was blessed yes. because of him. Uh -huh. He's preaching the word to him, see. They're blessed. His, ch his seed is mighty on their earth. He's not afraid of evil tidings. Why? Because his heart is fixed. Trusting in the My Lord. He's Lord. got faith in the blessing. Yes, He's he got does. faith in God. Mm. And he knows there's more where this came from. <laughs> you can't take it away from me because it didn't come out of your world. And God, God, my God shall supply all your need. It didn't mean that he's going to diminish his supply. It means God, God can't, God has no loss. It doesn't, it doesn't. No, no, no. It, 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 
It's as much as you'll ever want to use. You know what he, he you know what joy him more than anything? Hmm. If we believe on that hundredfold return yeah, yeah. blessing and we believed yeah. on all this until yeah. he had to create more to supply, supply it. it. Now what would that do to the earth? It bless the whole <laughs> earth. It wouldn't take anything out of the earth. It would put more in the earth. But that was Joseph. That's Psalm 112. That's what Joseph did. Didn't That's he? what he did, didn't he? He blessed the whole earth through God used him to bless everybody. Now, you, you don't turn me on with that, Bill. Uh, now, man, now, yeah, I'm about to <laughs> shove this table around. <laughs> I'll tell you he what, I up. hardly stand it. One man. Praise God. Save the nation. Save the nation. One man. Now, let's, let's look at something here, because you said something about that blessing and that cursing. I saw a representative of that over in Luke chapter 5 when Peter was fishing. And as he was fishing, he had toiled all night. Now, that word that's saw. That's what he said. That, that's exactly we toiled right. all night and caught nothing. Then caught nothing. And what you were saying is this stuff doesn't come to the toil. It comes to the blessing. It's, it's like the blessing is a magnet that draws the blessing of God, the promises of God. Those fish in that lake were created Hated. by the blessed one. One, yes. They're the product of uh, the blessed, blessed one. All the animals are. Okay, okay. Now, after Noah, God put a fear in animals. He stopped the devil from being able to use an animal to talk to a man like he did in the garden with right, that serpent. Right, right. He stopped yeah. that. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> he put a fear in those animals. But they're still not afraid of the blessing. That's right. And a man that has the blessing on him draws those things. Draws them. Draws them to him. So this one. Jesus got in that boat. And, and those fish just. Here come the fish. Every fish in the Galilee came up around those boats. Oh, Brother Copeland, you, you mean every fish? What fish is, would tell Jesus no? It's people that do that, not animals, not a fish. They came charging in there. Let me in that boat. Let me in that boat. So, and, so they, the, the animals came to Noah. Yeah. They, in the boat. <laughs> yeah, they came and got in the boat. This blessing, now that's what I'm saying, and, and that's why I guess I want to get everybody to understand it. The blessing takes the toil out of your life. That's, it's designed to do that. And, and what happened with this is the, the blessing, when Peter got over into that and obeyed the word, it drew the, the fish to him. As long as he was now operating without that blessing and toiling, the fish ran. And it's a lot of things God wants to bring into our lives, but he set before us blessing and cursing, life and death, and he tells us which one to choose. Words have power. I can do all things through Christ. Thank you, Lord. Come on, man. You can do this. You gotta pay the price. Lord, protect them. Words are the key to unlock God's covenant that overrides the curse in the natural world. Peace. Your words operate on a supernatural level to activate the blessing. Through you, the blessing transforms the world. The Activating the Blessing Package is the Living in the Blessing lesson featuring Kenneth Copeland combined with Bill Winston's Faith in the Blessing message, available on CD or DVD. Together, they define what God's blessing is and reveal the fact that the blessing is word activated. Surround yourself with this life-changing teaching and discover that it always works. The blessing is God's voice activated faith app that will change your life forever. Order your copy of Activating the Blessing Package today for just $24 and enjoy savings of over 50%. This package contains messages by Kenneth Copeland and Bill Winston and comes in your choice of CD or DVD. Understand the blessing, strengthen your faith, and live your life to the fullest. For an additional product discount and 48-hour processing, go to kcm.org slash tvspecial. 
You may also call or write to us today. For other KCM products, visit kcm.org. Hello, I'm Jeremy Pearsons, and on today's broadcast, my grandfather, Brother Kenneth Copeland, and his guest, Pastor Bill Winston, taught today. And if you remember, they were talking about uh, identifying where human abilities in, and the blessing comes in and begins to change things. And the blessing of God works in every arena, every area of your life, and it fixes what is broken. Now, today's product, Activating the Blessing, this is a package that we want to make available to you because the blessing transfers God's power to you. The, the blessing that came with Jesus has put the very ability of God on the inside of you. And you have His unlimited ability in this earth to manifest and demonstrate Him in love and in every situation. And you can be assured that when no one else, when the world around you is not prospering, you are. When the world around you without God is sick because you have Him and you have Jesus, you're walking in health and wholeness and in healing. Wherever you go, increase follows you. That's because of the blessing that came upon us through Jesus. And that's the kind of life we could and should be living. So order your package today. As you know, it's available on either CD or DVD. But my grandfather, as he said, get them both. Watch them and listen, listen to them. Keep them with you wherever you go and renew your mind to the truth of the Word of God that is in these things. It'll be a blessing to you. They will make a difference in your life. Now look, if you need prayer, we want you to know that Kenneth Copa Ministries has a 24-hour prayer line. No matter what time, day or night, we have trained prayer ministers right here who will be ready to pray the Word of God with you in anything that you are facing, whatever challenge, whatever it is you might need agreement and prayer on. They are ready and willing and able to pray with you. God has your answer, but you need to begin to seek Him about it. So call us. We, have, we also have offices all over the world. So if you live somewhere outside the United States, check their hours of operation. It'll be a blessing to your life. We invite you to join us again tomorrow. And until then, remember, this is Jeremy Pearson's reminding you, God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. Thanks for joining us on the Believer's Voice of Victory. For this week's broadcasts on DVD or CD, today's product offer, or for more information on KCM, visit kcm.org. Online, you'll find free ministry resources to help you live every day in faith. Receive God's promise that everything is going to be all right. God loves you. You are His beloved. He loves you, and as He is, so are you in this world. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. Celebrate 30 years in Europe at the Europe Victory Campaign, May 10th through 12th, with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at the Excel Center in London, UK. Living Victory Pacific Rim Faith Encounter, Honolulu, Hawaii, June 15th and 16th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and Dr. Stephen and Kelly Swisher. The Southwest Believers Convention, July 2nd through 7th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their special guests in Fort Worth, Texas. The Great Lakes Victory Campaign, August 9th through 11th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland in the U.S. Cellular Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Living Victory East Coast Faith Encounter, Orlando, Florida, September 14th and 15th with Kenneth Copeland and Dr. Stephen and Kelly Swisher. For more information on these and other events, go to events.kcm.org.